Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Selamat semuanya. Uh, sebelumnya perkenalkan, saya Hafidah Torenia Wibowo, selaku pen penanggung jawab digital learning. Sebelum memulai lebih lanjut, uh, alangkah baiknya bila kita berdoa terlebih dahulu. Berdoa menurut kepercayaan masing-masing, disilakan. Uh, baik, untuk selanjutnya saya akan menjelaskan sedikit tentang tentang dining. Jadi dining atau digital learning adalah kegiatan pembelajaran terkait materi perkuliahan yang diperuntukkan bagi mahasiswa dan mahasiswi prodi pendidikan bahasa Inggris dan juga sastra Inggris dan menampilkan tutor dari dari kalangan mahasiswa atau alumni prodi pendidikan bahasa Inggris dan dilakukan melalui video conference seperti saat ini ya. Untuk materi dining kali ini adalah academic presentation, yaitu writing and academic essay. Selanjutnya, saya akan membacakan sisi dari materi kita hari ini. Pemateri kita hari ini ada Kak Hoirunisa Nurofira, tempat tanggal lahirnya Jakarta, 2 Maret 2001, domisilinya Bekasi, Jawa Barat, uh, untuk statusnya, mahasiswa program studi pendidikan bahasa Inggris Universitas Negeri Jakarta, pekerjaannya sebagai mahasiswa, aktivitas saat ini sebagai co-founder dan event manager TEDx UNJ, grup koordinator Amnesty Bekasi, konten koordinator Ruang Nyaman UNJ. Untuk pengalaman organisasinya, ada TEDx UNJ dari 2021 sampai saat ini, Amnesty Bekasi dari 2020 sampai saat ini, dan Ruang Nyaman UNJ dari 2019 sampai saat ini. Moto hidupnya, Carpe Diem. Pesan, untuk peserta, Keep the Fire. Oke, okay, halo Kak Fira. Halo. Apa, Apa kabar? kabar, Kak? Oh, <laughs> Alhamdulillah, aku baik-baik aja. Kak Fira, gimana kabarnya? Alhamdulillah, Kak. Sehat. Oke, Kak Fira, uh, disilakan. Oke. Uh, sebelumnya aku pengen sapa teman-teman dulu nih. Halo semuanya. Ani, ada uh, Gina Ramadhani, ada Sarah Fitriani, Nurul Asia, Syifa Anandita. Halo. Sarah. Hai. Halo. <laughs> ada Aska, ada Cintia, uh, ada Ananda Zahra. Halo. 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 Ada Aisha Wafi. Oke. Okay. Nah, udah, udah lumayan rame nih ya. Mungkin kita langsung mulai aja. Uh, aku izin share screen terlebih dahulu. Di sini aku pengen infoin bahwa uh, aku di sini akan lebih, akan, uh, di sini aku akan not lecturing you guys, but like uh, I'm going to give you, I'm going to share some of my knowledge with you and we can learn together. And this is going to be a very interactive uh session i'm going to have a lot of uh, interactive session with you guys so i am looking forward if i ask you something i really hope that you guys can answer it in the whether it is through the chat box or if you want to unmute yourself that would be fine also okay uh so hello everyone good afternoon my name is hairunisa nurul fira you may call me fira uh and i'm uh, an english of english language education study program from batch 2019 and uh, and I'm really grateful to be here today. Okay, so let's start today. Uh, I would like to, I, I am going to talk to you about academic essay. Now, why do, why academic essay? Because you see, we are students of uh, English education study program, right? So like whether you like it or not, we are going to we are going to be required at some point in uh in at some point we are going to be required to write an academic essay, and that's why I think an acad uh, writing an academic essay is uh, one of the many skills that you have to master that you have to at least be able to do. Okay, so let's just talk about academic essay today. Okay, so the first thing before we uh, talk about before we talk about writing, actually writing an academic essay, first we need to get to know it first, right? 
Uh, so let's move on to the first one. What is an academic essay? Okay, here I have a, an AHA slide for you. I uh, mungkin bisa tolong dari Hafida di bagian di kolom chat linknya. I would like to ask you a question. What is an academic question in your opinion? You can uh, try to access this link and then answer my question there. Okay, linknya sudah dibagikan sama Hafida ya. Hafida have already shared with you the link. Uh, here, I'm going to share the screen. Okay, so I would like you guys to open that link and write down what do you know about academic essay. Okay, I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you guys around one minute to uh, access the link. Okay, so yeah, everyone just write anything, everything that you know about academic essay, and I will try my best to read all of them. Okay. Okay, uh, anyone can tell me what do you know about academic essay? I haven't seen anyone uh, write anything here. Is the link accessible, by the way? Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, we already have ideas, writing, evidence. You can just enter a word. Critical, good. Okay, so let's see. We already have ideas here, the word ideas. And then writing. Then we also have evidence, critical, information. Anyone else? Dizzy. <laughs> Writing an academic essay make you dizzy? <laughs> Does it make you dizzy? <laughs> All right, okay. Okay, I'm waiting for one more minute, yeah, for you guys to type in your, uh, your word of choice. What, is, what do you know about academic essay? We have um, opinion here. Oh, I didn't see that. Opinion. Okay, nice. <laughs> All right, anyone else? Okay. Uh, okay, thank you guys. So here we have, oh, we have another one. Evidence. Okay. Idea based on evidence. Nice. Okay, great. We also have argument writing. Good, very good. Anyone else? Idea based on evidence. That's nice. Okay, so I guess uh, thank you everyone for who has joined, who has uh, participated. Uh, okay, so let's go back to the slide, shall we? Or is there anyone who would like to add more? Okay, let's go back to the slide. Okay, so thank you for your participation, you guys. Uh, next, we are going to talk about. So, what is it? What actually is an academic essay. What is it? I have two sources here. The first one that I got from a journal and the second one that I got from a website. The first one says that an essay is a piece of writing, usually from an author's personal point of view. And the second one says that an academic essay is a structured form of writing that students face in school, college, and university as a part of their curriculum. I, uh, I agree with these two arguments, and that's why, therefore, I summarize it into this one sentence. An academic essay is a focused piece of writing that develops an idea 
I, I see that some of you guys have uh, written that in the in the aha slide. Idea or argument using evidence, analysis, and interpretation. I saw like uh, several keywords uh, in the in the aha slides that you guys have mentioned that exist in this uh, definition. So that's great, you guys. Uh, spot on. Good job. And now let's talk about it. Uh, let's talk about an academic essay further. So now that we already know, we already uh, familiarize ourselves with what is an academic essay. Now that we know, let's talk about it. Uh, let's talk about the types and the purposes. Now the types and the purposes. There are four types of academic essay, narrative, descriptive, expository, and argumentative. But there are only two purposes of the, of the academic essay. Can anyone tell me, uh, can anyone tell me what are the purposes, or maybe you can guess, you know, what are the purposes of academic, of an academic essay? You can type in the chat box, you can type in the chat box and I will read it. All right, uh, I would like to see all of you guys, to, or maybe if you would like to unmute yourself and tell me what are the purposes, that would be fine also. Okay, anyone? Okay, and can anyone type in the chat, uh, what are the types, what are the purposes of an academic writing, according to what you know? Or maybe you can just like guess, that, that would be okay too. Okay, we're waiting. I'm waiting. As I mentioned before, as I've mentioned before, there are only two types. Uh, there are only two purposes of an academic essay. Even though there are four types of academic essay, there are only two purposes. Can you guess what are those? Uh, what are those purposes? Okay. If that's okay, uh, if there's no one who uh, don't know. Okay, so we can actually, oh, we have a, okay, great. Persuade people to agree with our opinion, question mark. <laughs> yes, good. That is correct. You don't need the question mark, Asta. <laughs> to understand the argue, the arg argument yeah, or idea from experts, that's nice. That's nice. Uh, to persuade readers of an idea based on evidence, to convey arguments. Okay, great answers, you guys. Uh, I'm not sure enough. <laughs> that that's okay. That's okay. We're we're all learning here, so no worry. If you make mistakes, that's totally fine. Okay, to understand the argument, idea, persuade. Okay, I see that some of you guys, uh, that some of you guys, uh, really have have actually guessed it correctly there are actually two purposes but i think you guys uh, most of you guys uh, answered the the second purpose which is uh which i will tell you later on but the first thing is this three uh essays narrative descriptive and expository it can be categorized into sort of like one purpose which is to expose readers to information so uh yeah that what you said in the comment box in the chat box is correct that yes you can you can deliver you can deliver your opinion in an essay but you can also expose the readers to new information so yeah like this so this is uh, and for the argumentative essays it is true that the purpose is to persuade the readers to agree with your argument and whose arguments that we're talking about here, of course, the writer. Okay, next let's move on. Now that we have got that, uh, let's move on to the characteristics. Before I move on to the characteristics, I would like to state, I would like a, a little fact that an academic essay generally consists of 250 until 500 words. 
it can be less, it can be more. But if it's more, I think it's if it's more than uh, than that than 500 words, I think it's better if you write it as a journal article. Meanwhile, if it is less than what uh, than the than 250 words, uh, it's it's too short for an for an essay, an, an essay in general. But uh, it's long enough to answer an open-ended questions. Okay, so yeah. So ideally, so ideally, uh, an as an academic essay consists of two hundred fifty until five hundred words. Okay, now let's move on. As we have discussed before, the uh, the as we have discussed before, the purpose of an essay is to convey your argument or expose your readers to an idea or information right so therefore we need the, we need so there in such short uh in such short uh what do you call it space in short such short space you have to be able to deliver all of your arguments all of the uh, all of the information valid information that you would like to share and uh, your solid arguments Therefore, it needs to be planned and focused because otherwise you are going to end up with a lot of words and nothing to say. For example, uh, for example, it's it's like uh, you 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 mentioned a lot of things, but because it's unnecessary, it's because it's unnecessary. It just does not really explain what you are trying to what you are trying to to or what message you are trying to uh convey or yeah and it has to also be focused it means that the topic should all should already be narrowed down into a more specific uh a more specific um topic okay and the next one we have structured for structured how okay uh how are you going how how are you going to how are you going to do how how if for structured it's like a how are you going to get your purpose fulfilled if you are not able to structure it it's like if you're if you if you if you do not uh if you do not convey your academic essay structurally uh it's going to cause a lot of confusion for the readers because other because then your the flow of arguments or the flow of information that you are going to share it's jumbled up it's all messed up so you are going to talk about instead of instead of going from a b c d you go from a c and then back to b and then back to d and then go back to a again that that is much harder to understand for like uh, for all your readers therefore an academic essay should be structured next it should be evident as we have uh, okay as we have as we have discussed before an essay an academic essay uh, consists of uh, the uh, the opinion the opinion of the writer but it doesn't mean that it doesn't mean you are allowed to give out any any kind of opinion that is your own yes you, are, you may you may write your opinion but it has to be evident what is this opinion based on like it can be a it can be like a previous research and then it can also uh, base be based on facts and so on and so forth and the last one is that characters is that sorry it has to be formal in an academic essay definitely it has to be formal but how formal does it can get how how formal it can get let's move on to the second one let's move on to the next one degree of formality it has to be formal in tone and style but it is not complex 
Okay, so I'm going to give you an example of a sentence. Now, uh, let's say this sentence. Okay, can anyone read that? Uh, okay, I'm going to read that. Hi, it's Fira here, and I am here to talk about the crime rate in Jakarta. What do you think of this uh, sentence? Do you think it is formal enough? Let me know what you think in the chat box. Or maybe, uh, let me ask you. If you think that this, uh, this sentence is formal, raise your hand. Use the raise hand feature. But if you don't think it's, if you don't think this is, it's formal, uh, write in the chat box. Do you think it's formal? Anyone who thinks that this is formal, please raise your hand. Okay, we have here in the chat box, sorry. I think no, okay, thank you, uh, Aisha. I think it's informal, thank you, Nurul. Okay, I think it's informal, okay, good. Informal, okay. So most of you guys say that it is this is this sentence is informal. Not only that this is informal, but let's let's analyze it even more. Do you think this is suitable for in a in a writing context? Do you think this is for writing or for a for a written context or a spoken context? Please let me know in the chat box. Is it for spoken or written? Spoken, spoken. Nice. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Yes. This is actually uh, a spoken, this is actually used for a more uh, spoken context, okay? But we also hear, you also have here another sentence. Uh, do you think this sentence, the second sentence, is more suitable? Do you think the second sentence, do you think this is, uh, do you think this, this second sentence is formal? Do you think this is suitable for a, for an essay? Let me know in the chat box. Okay, formal. Okay, it is formal. Is it for a spoken context or a written context? Yes, it's suitable for an essay. Thank you, Nurul. Yes, thank you, Aisha. Written. Thank you, Hafida. Okay. Great, cool. Okay, now I have here another sentence. Now this one is quite long. Okay. The crime rate in Jakarta, the capital city of Indonesia, located in one of the most populated islands, is considerably high compared to the one in other islands but people still look for the opportunity to come and live in the metro metropolitan city. Now, do you think this sentence is suitable for an essay? Do you think it's for a written or a spoken context? Okay, we have someone who says it is for a written context. Good. It is more for a written context. Do you think it's uh, a written for, for a written or a spoken context? Okay, spoken context. Mm, okay. Written. We have spoken, we have written. Okay, anyone else? Written. Okay, good. All right. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, let's see who was that. Thank you, Hafida, and then Aisha, and then Nurul. Thank you. Okay. I've also said it's written. Okay, good. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, the second sentence is actually uh, for a written written context. But do you think this is formal enough? Do you think this is formal enough, everyone? Do you think that this uh, this this last sentence is suitable, or it's? Do you think it's formal enough for a for an essay? 
Anyone? Do you think it's formal or not? Please type in the chat box. I think yes. Okay. You think it's yes, it's formal. Anyone else? Anyone else who think that is this is formal? Do you think this is formal or not? Is it formal? Okay, anyone? Yes, it's formal. Okay, thank you, Nuru. Good. Anyone else? Okay, one more, one more person. I need an opinion of one more person. Type it in the chat box. It is formal. Okay. So, uh, so I have three people who said that this sentence it's formal actually it is not formal enough do you know why do you know why can anyone tell me why it this uh, the second this last sentence is not formal enough okay i'm going to give you a hint it's because of one word of uh, one particular word Okay, going once, anyone, anyone else, why? Going one, going twice, and okay, <laughs> I'm going to answer that question. It's not formal because it's because of this one particular sentence, look for. Yes, it's, it's still not look for, you see? Look for is an example of a two word, two word verbs, and we should know that two word verbs are not formal, and therefore we cannot use it in this context. We can change it though. What 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 can we change it to? Anyone else? Anyone know? How can we change it so that it becomes formal? Let me see. Okay, so look for it is not formal. It is not formal. But we can change it into, let's say, here we can say search for. We can, uh, the word look, the word look for can be substituted with search. Okay. It can be uh, it can be changed into search, but when we use the word search here, we need to add a preposition, which is for. So, look for can be substituted into search for, but it's search for look for. What is the difference, Vira? The difference is that look for, it's one word, it's one, it's two words. Two word, two word verb. I mean, meanwhile, search. It's only one word, but it needs a preposition, which is for. So, do you see the difference here? Okay, that's the difference. That's the difference. Okay, so we're done with that. So the the so uh we're done with that. Now, can anyone tell me how to? Uh, I already mentioned in the beginning that. This this is too actually too long for a for a, an essay because as I have stated before only five hundred words okay so it means that there are a lot of things that you can strike through you can you can delete from this uh from this sentence okay let me check let me delete the ones that you don't need. You see, the crime rate in Jakarta, the capital city of Indonesia, now we don't need that. We don't need the capital city of Indonesia, we don't need that. Why? Because it's a well-known fact. 
like everyone, everybody already understand that, already know that Jakarta is the capital city of Indonesia. Like it's a, it's a general knowledge. And then we also have here located in one of the most populated island. We don't need that also, located in one of the most populated island. We don't need that because we already know that the, we already, people know that Jakarta is crowded. We already know that. And we can see that it's considerably high compared to the one in other island. But people still, we already know that this we need to look for, we can substitute that with search for the opportunity to come and live in the met metropolitan city. Now, this, that's how the sentence becomes more compact and concise but it still gives a knowledge, you know? So yeah, yeah, so that's, uh, that's about it. Now, after that, let's take a look. We already know what, what is, what is uh, we already know what is a, um, what is, uh, we, we already know what is the, 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 the what is, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I lost uh, the control of this PowerPoint slide. Okay, so we already know what is an academic essay. Next, we need to take a look at the structure. Why do we need, why do we need uh, to take a look at the structure? Because I already mentioned, as I mentioned, as I've mentioned before, that an academic essay, it has to be structured. It has to be uh, it has to have a certain flow of thinking so you cannot you cannot just say uh, you cannot say you instead of saying a c b d you have to say a b c d so it has to go on a structure okay now structure of an academic essay the first one is introduction now let's take a look at the introduction in an introduction, there are three things that you have to include. First one is the hook, and then the background and thesis statement. Hook, what's a hook? Can anyone tell me what is a hook? Please type it in the chat if you know the meaning of, if you know what is the meaning of hook. It is certain, uh, it is just hook, yeah? Not, it's not a captain, not captain hook. <laughs> Okay. Anyone? Anyone knows what the hook is? Okay, that's okay. Uh, if nobody knows it, I'm going to tell you. A hook is something that you, you actually use to gain other people's attention. For example, in some cases, uh, in some cases, uh, an academic essay allows you to use a rhetorical questions. For example, like, have you ever taken a risk in your life? Something like that. Or you can also use a, a shocking fact to, a shocking fact to surprise the audience. Like for example, the, the population of Jakarta during the day and the population of Jakarta during the night is very different, and it has a big, uh, it has a, uh, or maybe like, the population of Jakarta during the day and night has a huge gap. We can say that. Or if you would, if you would like to make it even more interesting, you can add the number. Like for example, the population of the people in Jakarta of people. The, the population of the people of Jakarta during the day is uh, is almost six million. It's around six million, but during the night, the number drops to around two million. Now that is a shocking fact, right? The the, the audience, the the readers, when they read that certain sentence, they will become like, really? This is it, I didn't know this, and like uh, they be, they will be interested to find out more. Which is, uh, and then the next one, you need to add the background. 
the background consist may consist of uh, why did you why why uh, you can also give an explanation a little bit about the hook that you have mentioned before that you have added. And then after that, this is the most important part, which is the thesis statement. A thesis statement, it's like the heart of an essay. Like for example, let's say um, I would like to, to make a thesis statement and a thesis statement, as we as I have stated before, as like uh, what I said in the purpose, uh, a thesis statement. It can be, I'm sorry, not, not the purpose. I, I mean in the definition. A thesis statement can be a, a, based on your own opinion. Like for example, I'll give you an example. I want to, for example, I want to write an essay and I, and I chose the thesis, uh, the, the thesis statement I chose to use is, I am the most beautiful girl on the planet. Like, yeah, I am the most beautiful girl on the planet. <laughs> yeah, that's a thesis statement. Can I say that? Can I use that in my thesis statement? Okay, anyone? That's okay if you want, if you want to unmute yourself and, just, and tell me uh, that I'm not beautiful or, or otherwise. <laughs> okay, so my thesis statement here is, I am the most beautiful girl on the planet. Do you agree with that? on <laughs> do you agree with that statement okay uh maybe some of you agree maybe some of you don't agree that that's fine and i'm still i'm i still believe that i'm the most beautiful girl on the planet because it's why do you think i uh, why do you think it's fine if i say that i am the most beautiful girl on the planet can anyone guess why the answer is simple because I say so, it's my opinion. And everyone's entitled to their own opinion. <laughs> but this is an academic essay, okay? So that kind of, in, that kind of, uh, that kind of sentence, that kind of idea, it's not really suitable for an academic essay. But if I were to write an essay about pop culture and so on, maybe I can use that that kind of thing, that kind of thesis statement. Okay, so now that we have a thesis, let's say, let's just use uh, that I am the most beautiful girl on the planet because I, <laughs> it's a fact. I mean, like, <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, so we already have our thesis statement here. Next, we're going to talk about why this thesis statement should stand. This thesis statement should stand because of Firstly, let's say uh, because I dream on it. Yeah, let's say that because I dream on it. And then secondly, it's because it's because I uh, because my family told me so. And the third one is because um, because let's say uh, my boyfriend tells me so like that. The, these three things, these three arguments that you have made, it can be included in the body you need to add it to your main point that's why that's what it meant by my main point here it can be an argument that is supporting your thesis statement okay so so yeah uh so for example for like 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 the one that i've stated before your body your body paragraph it should be the it should be the argument that is supporting your thesis statement it should be explaining why your thesis statement should stand and so on okay and then after that we're going to move on to the closing in the closing there are three things that we need to include the first one is the summary and the restatement of the thesis statement and the final sentence now a summary i'm sure you are familiar with but a restatement of the thesis statement you can just say, uh, you can say that uh, maybe you want to, to write, write, maybe in the closing you would like to write, therefore, do not trust people. Are you confused? I'm sure you are. You cannot, you cannot say that from, from I am the most beautiful girl on the planet and then 
because my my parents told me so because I dream on it because my boyfriend told me so and all of a sudden this in the closing he said that therefore don't trust people's don't trust people's opinion that doesn't make sense right okay it doesn't make sense that's why you need to restate your thesis statement in a way that you know you need to re re restate your CC statement in a way that it looks like uh, that supports the body so this is like this means that every uh, this uh, each and every aspect in this as in an academic essay should be linked to one another it should have it should have like a, a it, it should support each other like the later information cannot come if the previous the form if the if the former uh information is not well it's not well uh well written or it's not well structured okay so that's 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 if we if we take a look back that is also the reason why the one of the main characteristics of the of an, an academic essay is structured because you can say that uh, you cannot say that uh, you read uh, in order. I read books to get to be smart. You cannot say to be smart. Uh, you cannot say uh, I, can, I can. You cannot say that uh, I uh, I read book. So, so, so the main is the main word is like I read book to be smart. You cannot say that I am smart to read books you cannot say that right that's why the structure has to go on the right in the right direction it has to it needs a flow of uh, information okay go, coming back to the closing so yeah so that's the restatement of the thesis the restatement should be uh should be like the thesis statement that you have mentioned in your opening and it has to support your body paragraph and a final sentence now in the final sentence after you already you already restate your thesis statement now you can say that uh, you can say that therefore don't trust don't trust other people's opinion you can say that because a final sentence means to like have you ever heard of the the the, the saying that goes uh, go out with a bang now nah, you have to you do, you have to do that. You need that you need that because you you already started you already started this essay strong. Now you have to close it with also a bang, a really great or like a, it outro, you know. All right, so that's the structure of an academic essay. So far, any questions? Going one, going twice. Okay, then let's move on to the next one. Now we already learned what is an what is an academic essay and what needs to go in there. What how do we how should we structure it? Now we are going to talk about the steps. Now this is actually uh, this is actually one of the most complicated parts. But um, does anyone know? Uh, the steps of writing an academic essay you may ch you may type in the chat box i'll give you um one minute while I, while i wait uh, i would like to ask permission for I, I would like to drink a get some sip of water because i'm kind of thirsty <laughs> okay write in the chat box please write in the chat box what do you think are the steps of an academic essay. Okay, anyone? Anyone knows? Okay, then at least tell me what is the first. What is the first step in writing an academic essay? Decide the idea what you want to write. Okay, good. 
find the topic. Nice. First, find the topic. Nice. Anyone else? No? Okay, then. Thank you, Sarah and Aisha Wafik. That's actually correct. First, find the topic. Decide the idea, what you want to write about. How can how are you supposed how are you supposed to write about something when you don't know what you want to write, right? Am I right? <laughs> okay, so the first one is idea. And how exactly are you going to uh, open it? First, you have to define your purpose. Remember, in the very beginning, I told you that there are four types of text, but only two purposes. Why do you need to, why do you need to define your purpose? Can anyone tell me why do you need to define your purpose? Maybe I would like uh, someone to turn on their, their mic. Let's see, let's call Ananda Zahra. Ananda Zahra, are you there? Okay, maybe Ananda Zahra is not with us uh, currently. Anyone else? Yeah. Yes, yes, Sarah, please do. Why do you think yeah. we need to define our purpose? Okay, aku jawab pakai bahasa Indonesia, nggak apa-apa ya, Firya? Boleh, boleh. Mungkin um, purpose ini supaya esainya lebih terarah gitu, jadi nggak kemana-mana, lebih berangka gitu. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. Nice. Thank you, Sarah. Oke, okay, great. Good job. Thank you, Sarah. Ada lagi yang lain? Uh, I want to call Aisha Wafik. Halo, Aisha. If I'm not mistaken. Halo, Kak. Iya, yeah. menurut kamu kenapa step pertamanya itu mesti define your purpose? Uh, jawaban saya hampir sama kayak yang tadi jadi kalau misalnya udah ditentuin tujuannya lebih terarah kalau misalnya mau nentuin topik gitu kak oke okay. good thank you thank you uh, Aisyah ya oke okay, cool uh, yeah. let's alright 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 uh, define your purpose as I have uh, as I have shown I have shown you in the beginning that there are four texts, four types of texts, and two purposes. So why do you need to define your purpose? Is that so that you are able to find to choose which one or which uh, which type of text are you going to use? Because each has its own characteristics, right? So we cannot just go around and Let's say present information by you want to present information by using an argumentative essay. You cannot do that. Okay, so that's why define your purpose. Next, choose a topic you are passionate about. Actually, I would I, I'll just say choose a topic. Why do you need to be passionate about it? Because if you are passionate about it, if you're passionate about a certain topic. You will more likely to find out to have more information about it. Like for example, I like um, let's say I like figure skating. I must have had I must have had a lot of fun facts or like ideas or like arguments about figure skating. Why? Because I like it. It's like a hobby to me, and that's why I can find out a lot of. Uh, a lot of I have a lot of information about it. You see, when you write a topic that you are not passionate about, you are more likely to not ace it or not write it well enough. So that it because it doesn't feel as important as if when you write when you are when you are writing something you are passionate about. So in in a, in a simpler much simpler way I would say that if you choose a topic that you are passionate about. 
then your your writing will it will show that and the reader can tell i'm telling you the, the reader can tell if you are whether you are passionate about uh, writing or not okay so yeah that's why i would i would advise you to choose a passion this a top topic that you're passionate about and lastly do some research it's as much as you need as you need it okay you've got your idea you know what you want to write and then after that what do you do you make an outline what's an outline an outline is basically the it's like a skeleton <laughs> like 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 your body your body can you are your body are shaped that way because this because of the skeleton of your body so yeah that's that's the same thing as the outline the outline it's like the skeleton to your writing you need your firstly you need your thesis statement you need you need uh, the heart of your thesis statement you get in the heart of your essay which is the thesis statement and then after that you can add the main points which are the arguments and for the arguments you can uh, usually you can uh, uh, oh yeah at the minimum you need three arguments why three arguments because ideally an essay consists of 20% opening and then 60% of the body and then another 20 percent of the closing so if you were to write let's say one paragraph for the opening and then you have to write three paragraphs for the body and then another one paragraph for the closing so this three paragraph for the each and each paragraph should talk about one thing only, one topic only. Do you get what I'm trying? Do you get um, what my what I'm trying to say here? Okay, so that's why I say that three. You need. That's why I said you need three main points or three arguments. And then finally, you can write your summary. Okay, if you have finished your outline, then we'll move on to draft. The drafting process takes you from a compilation of information to the structured delivery of your idea within your essay. It means that you need to write down, you need to write down what you are going to, what you are going to say, what you, what you're, what you want to, what you want to present to the audience, to the readers. Then if you finish your draft, don't forget to review it. Or this is the editing process. You need to fix all grammatical mistakes and punctuate, punctuational errors finalize your title and then title is very important because uh, people people always say don't judge a book by its cover but yeah but i you, that's why you don't judge a book you don't you don't judge a book by its cover you judge it by the title if it has a catchy title you will more likely to read it which one would you more likely to read uh a, a history of a history of uh, how human, uh, the history of human evolution from the Mesozoic era up to the blah, 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 blah. That sounds boring, right? That's why you need to, uh, you, need to you need a title that will catch the audience's eye. Then add a bibliography if needed, means the references, you can look up the re references uh, from a journal or previous studies. Remember, this is this bibliography is important because, as I have stated in the characteristic, an academic essay has to be evidence. Everything that you say and every single opinion or arguments that you write in that essay, in that academic essay, should be based on a fact. Should be based on an argument. Uh, not, not only an, uh, not only a solid argument but also a valid a valid uh, information and then lastly make sure your paper meets its specified academic paper format formatting requirements like the 
font size and then font type and then the margin and so on and so forth yeah it's more like a technical stuff and after you finish editing or after you finish reviewing your essay you have to finalize it and when you finalize something there will be a lot of revision like you need to reread it reread your essay and position yourself as your reader to make them see that to to make yourself see that how do you think the the readers will 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 absorb this essay if you if you write it this way or if you write it that way okay and don't forget to make as much revisions as needed so just don't 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 feel like because uh ah, i only need to do two two, two revisions lah because yeah i think I'm, my writing is good enough no no don't do that don't think don't don't be uh don't think that you need to make revisions because you think uh because you think that it's it, it's uh, your, your teacher told you you need to revise how much but make revisions as much as you need it because make make it as make you need to make as much revisions as you need so that you can understand your own essay but position yourself as the reader from the point of view for, for the reader so you need to make them under you need you need your revision you need to make your revision not because so that you understand what you are trying to say but you need to make the the reader understand what you want to say then lastly of all of course you need to submit your essay so you finish it okay so i guess that's all from me so far uh do we have any questions I'll be waiting for the question from each one of you, from any one of you. Uh, in the I'll, I'll be waiting in the chat box. Or if you would like to turn on your mic, that would be okay too. So, so far, any questions? Anyone, any questions? Okay. Boleh nggak kalau di SI kita nulis filosofi dari kita sendiri? Maksudnya filosofi yang kayak gimana nih, Sar? Maybe you can turn on your mic, Sar. Jadi misal filosofinya kayak ya filosofi gitu Fir, kayak misal apa ya, kayak misal uh, kuliah tuh kayak ngendarain sepeda gitu, misal kayak gitu loh, kayak, kayak gitu. Oke, okay. kalau uh, itu kan lebih ke metafor ya berarti ya? Iya semacam gitu-gitu sih. Oke, okay, oke. Okay. I think I get what you mean. Yes, we are allowed to write our own philosophy. But once again, once again, everything that you write down in an essay should be evident. So you cannot just, you can put your opinion, but your opinion should be based on facts, solid facts, uh, solid information and valid information and, and strong arguments. Gitu. Jadi, so the answer is, boleh asalkan berdasarkan uh, fakta atau argumen yang kuat gitu gimana cara ya oke okay, ngerti sih thank you my pleasure oke okay, anyone else anyone else Would like to ask question. Vera, I would like to ask a question. Yes, Asta, please do go ahead. Okay, cuma nggak ada campur Indo ya biar 
aku tiba salah ngomong. Uh, <laughs> jadi kan, uh, just like what we know, in SI we use citations, you know, uh, uh, for example, as evidence of our opinion or something. Dan uh, cuman beberapa orang sekarang gue suka dengar kalau banyak citation juga nggak bagus jadi ka- karena kayak kayak nggak banyak opini kita gitu loh jadi apa ya istilahnya model gitulah jadi kayak kayak kebanyakan kopas pendapat orang so the question is uh, when do we know that uh, cite, uh, citation kita cukup gitu Paham sih? <laughs> Gue bingung. Nah, ya. Jadi itu yeah. uh, pertanyaan Aska tuh seber- seberapa banyak referensi yang kita butuhkan supaya argumen kita itu dibilang solid gitu ya? Yes, uh, exactly. Nice, nice. Uh, good question. Thank you, Aska. Uh, for, for, this, uh, for this, actually, when you are You, when you want to give, uh, when you want to state an opinion, kayak contohnya misalkan, ya yeah, let's take another example of that ini. I am the most beautiful girl on the planet. <laughs> Do you agree? Yes. You agree yes. Okay. I mean, I know. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Anyways. Uh. So yeah. It can be. I. I. I can say that. Uh, I am the most beautiful girl on the planet. If I have enough solid point, kalau misalkan aku, kalau misalkan aku punya cuma satu inform, satu point yang bikin, uh, yang bikin, yang membuat that statement sudah jadi true, that's fine. But if you need more than one, if you need more than one evidence, that would be fine also. So. My answer to that question is you can use as much citations as needed so as long as it creates your it it it, it lets you to uh untuk menunjukkan bahwa tulis uh, bahwa statement lo ini statement uh, aka ini kuat gitu loh seberapa banyak untuk supaya dia jadi kuat Kayak misalkan, uh, I am the most beautiful girl on the planet. If I can just like give, uh, if I can just give like, an, uh, uh, the the argument is like, uh, because let's say I have because I have brown eyes. Because because according to Journal A, girls with brown eyes are the most are beautiful, and girls with tan skin are the mo- are the most beautiful girls. So ya, yeah. jadi kayak itu aja udah itu itu aja udah ngambil dua citations kan dari yang pertama uh, uh, dari yang pertama uh, girls with brown eyes and then the second one girls with tan skin and then lastly girls with uh, uh, with a with a the girls with a round face for example is the most beautiful girl. So there I already have three citations. Do you think this three citations uh, is strong enough? If you think so, then this three citation should be enough. But remember, once again, remember that you have a limited space to write here. So if you, so my suggestion is, instead of uh, instead of uh, instead of busy trying to find trying to solidify an argument daripada kita terlalu sibuk untuk menguatkan satu argument. Lebih baik kita mencari satu sumber yang mengatakan bahwa yang yang mengatakan yang, yang sudah mencangkup semuanya, yang mencangkup uh, semua aspek dari argumen dari statement kamu dan bisa mendukung si statement itu. Does that answer your question, Aska? Yes, Vira, very clear. Okay. Thank you. Cool. cool, cool. All right. Uh, anyone else would like and like like to ask any question? Um, I guess I guess if there are no more questions, then I'm going to give it back to Hafida. Thank you very much for your attention and have a good day. Makasih banyak, Hafira. My pleasure.
Uh, sebelumnya kita ini dulu ya kak dokumentasi buat kakak boleh itu ya open kamera oke okay. aku hitung ya uh. oke okay, satu dua tiga Sekali lagi, satu, dua, tiga. Oke. Okay. Makasih terima kasih banyak buat Kak Kira yang udah mau membagi ilmunya ke kita semua. Nah, Mudah-mudahan bisa uh, bermanfaat, bisa digunakan juga buat nanti aku semester depan. Makasih juga buat kakak-kakak dan teman-teman yang udah mau hadir di dating kali ini. Mohon maaf banget bila uh, dari aku atau dari Kafira ada salah-salah kata dan hal-hal yang kurang berkenan. Uh, Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Makasih banyak Kafira ya. Thank you everyone for coming. Good luck. Dan bate was your was. <laughs>